Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Local23. You're joining me for High School Story, Book 1, Chapter 5, Tryouts. I'm still addicted to the beginning song. Damn it. Tuesday afternoon, after homecoming committee. Emma closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. I was wondering if you'd, like, go out with me or something. Oh, Emma. Ah, uh, thank you, but no. They both stand there silent, refusing to look at each other. You open your mouth, trying to think of something to break the silence. Uh, maybe I should give you two some privacy? I think it's a little late for that. I, I'm sorry. I just knew that if I held the question in another second, I'd lose my nerve. Which probably would have been better than this. That was... It's okay, just, you know. He trails off. The silence is deafening. He just did break up with a girl that he considered his quote-unquote true love, so... Right now, he's not really looking for a rebound chick, and I don't blame him. I can't believe you, Caleb! Are you okay, Emma? She takes a deep breath. No, but I will be. I like you as a person, Emma, but it's too soon after Zoe called him. So, you're just not ready to date? For a moment, Caleb's eyes meet yours. Then, he looks away. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. But, it's not just that. I I think you're someone I'll always see as a friend. I'd rather tell you that honestly than give you false hope. I've been on the other side of this, and I think it's better to know the f truth. Oh, it's fine. I kinda knew this would happen, but I was worried that I'd never have another chance at this. I mean, I think you're really awesome, Emma. I, I do, but... You have every right to say no. I... don't want to be someone who doesn't like me as much as I like them. Been there, done that, got a t-shirt, went on vacation during it. I mean, what? I know you'll find someone. Me too. Someday. Hey, I know things are awkward right now, but if you're up for it, I'd love to get to know you better as a friend. I'd like that. Emma and Caleb agreed to stay friends. I'll see you in class, then. Looking forward to it. Third wheel standing here. <laughs> you and Emma watch as Caleb gets into his car and drives away. Is it safe to break down now? You know, I kind of want something to go hashtag safe or friend zone right now. You see tears starting to form in her eyes. Emma? I'm proud of you. What were you thinking? I'm proud of you. For what? Making a fool of myself? For working up the courage to tell Caleb how you felt. That's not easy for anyone, let alone someone as shy as you. Thanks. I just wish I didn't feel like such an idiot. Love makes fools of us all, Emma. She puts her arms around you, and you pat her back comfortably. Are you going to be able to keep it together for the drive home? I'm walking, actually. My mom needed the car today. She's working late. Well... Could your dad maybe pick you up? He doesn't live with... E e and Mom got... Emma starts to cry again. I'm sorry. How about you come over to my house for the evening? My dad's making fried chicken! Emma looks up at, with, at you with a sweet smile. That's my favorite. And it's settled. Let's go. To the friend zone house. <laughs> Welcome to high school. More like middle school, but high school. I guess this is what everyone goes through nowadays. Or at least what Pixelberry assumes. Later that afternoon. There's your water. Oh, okay. That's a cool bed. You have a desk under your bed. I want this. I need this. That is actually a space saver. Thanks, John. How's my face look? Can you tell I was crying? 
You look beautiful. Beautiful in a tragic tears rolling down my cheek way. Beautiful in a Emma with a clean face way. That's what I was going for. Thanks for letting me use your bathroom to wash up. No problem. You're feeling better then? A little. That's a start. Yeah. I guess I'm just not sure where to go from here. I know it was a long shot, but whenever I imagined my future having Caleb in it, it was always at least possible. Well, he will be, just as a friend. Yeah, and I'm glad for that, but it's still hard to go off of this fantasy. You know what I think you need. What? A new activity. Like, a sport or something? Sports, arts, anything that sounds fun to you. Something to distract me? And this is what I became in high school! Actually, I was kind of like this long before high school. I was actually like this in elementary. Stories for another time. And something to look forward to. That's not a bad idea. But you know how I get around new people. Hey, I'm new, and we're friends, right? That's only because you won't let me be shy around you. I did that makes no sense! Well, what if we signed up for something together? Maybe. What were you thinking? It's time to choose an after-school activity. This decision will last for the rest of the book, so make sure you choose the one you really want. I've actually seen... no... 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 I know uh, Pixelberry made it more open, so by the way, in case you haven't played this far, you can, as a football, uh, as a female football player, you can select football, by the way. That's cool, I like they did that. Uh, cheerleading? <laughs> no thank you! <laughs> Maybe in a future playthrough. And I'm gonna go with Marching Band. Do you know how to play an instrument? I used to play the violin, but... They don't march with those. Hmm, actually? The marching bands, as of late, have become more open-minded. Well, what about Color Guard? You get to twirl a flag around while the band plays. I... I think that would be fun. Okay, John, I'm in. Just then, you hear a knock on the door. Come in. Your dad steps into the room. Dad, we weren't raking out! No, hey -o! You must be Emma. John texted me that you were staying for dinner tonight. If it's not too much trouble. Someone said he looks like Chris with a redone face. I could see it's maybe a 40-year-old Chris, maybe. I could see it. A little aged, thinner, thinner actually, less muscle. I could see it. None at all! Is everything going okay in here? We're fine. Emma and I decided we're going to join the marching band. Oh, I'm not sure I can let you do that. Why not? I wouldn't want you to be... want you to get in... treble. You groan involuntarily, but Emma chuckles. Dad, you're embarrassing me in front of a new friend. That's what I'm here for. I'm surprised it's not in your contract. <laughs> You'll roll your eyes. Okay, okay. Well, I came to let you know that dinner's almost ready. Could you two help me set the table? Alright. Alright. We're, we're coming. It's a nice quaint house. After dinner. I was sitting in your room when Emma gets a text. Bad news? My mom's stuck at work until midnight. That's rough. Have you told her about Caleb? No. She's got enough on her mind. I should be getting home. Do you think you can give me a ride? No problem, Emma. But are you sure you'll be okay staying at home alone that late at night? Yeah, I'll be fine. I... I'm used to it. 
This is your chance to get to know Emma a little bit. Builder, blah, 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 diamond choice. Oh, well, okay. It's been very nice of you and your dad to have me over, but I don't want to take up any more of your time. Not a problem. You've been a good guest. Now let's get you home. You drove Emma home. You escort Emma to your car and drive her home. It's a gentlemanly thing to do, you know. Don't pry, she's a new friend. If she wants to tell you, she'll tell you. That's why diamond editions and some of these things are, are not really... <sighs> I'm trying to think of the word for it. Comfortable? No, it's not the word, but anyway. That Friday after school. Hey, John. Here, try out the new saxophone. Playing person. You bet. Awesome sauce. Ezra, we need a saxophone part over here. Oops, sorry. He runs over and hands you a few pages of sheet music. And Emma, what about you? I didn't know you can play an instrument. Actually, I'm here to try out for the color guard. That's across the hall. You'll meet the captain there. You mean, I don't get to audition with John? You put your arm on her shoulder. You can do this, Emma. Right. I know I can, I guess. I'll see you later. Why didn't you mention you can play the violin? They might have had a place for you. You'll be great. Best of luck. There's a saxophone. I'm at least looking at some of these pictures. Ooh, art. Actual art. I'm sure we could get a close-up of these. <laughs> what does this say? Emily is for the room across the hall. You find an empty seat next to Aiden and start looking over your music. John, I see you've chosen to descend to the ranks of band geekdom. You're cute when you're snarky. More of a band geek than I'll ever be. You're not wrong. Note that I'm not even looking at my music. What's that supposed to mean? We're playing the fight song again. Even if I hadn't had the song memorized for two years now, I'd be able to sight-read it. I am first chair trumpet for a reason. But hey, good luck. He's, he's brand new. He's literally brand new, and you're competing with him. You look at the sheet music, the first line goes ECA. E. C. A. Na, 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 na. Director begins conducting, and you play. E. C. A. Aiden grins at you as the conductor cuts the group off. Not bad for a new kid. Keep this up and maybe I'll show you some of the stuff I've written for the sax. The band has improved. You think I'll make the band then? At this point, I think it's more of a question of which chair Let's go, everyone! Looks like this is going to be an amazing year! Final list will be up on Monday morning, and our first rehearsal will be that afternoon. Catch you guys later! Meet up with Emma at your locker before going home. So, that went much better than expected. You think Color Guard is going to work out, them? I hope so. The girls were all really nice. Then I'm sure you'll fit right in. You open up your locker and start putting books in your backpack. John, is there a reason you have two math textbooks? I do? Emma points to a math textbook in your locker, and then one to your in your backpack. Shoot! I think I picked up someone else's during homeroom. You take the textbook out of your backpack and see Brian Crandall scrawled on the inside cover. Well, at least I know where to find him. I'd offer to go with you, but... No need. I'll see you on Monday. Bye, John. I would have just left it, honestly, in a homeroom. You're literally going to get to the football field, aren't you? Mm, this is only going to get bad. You go to the football field to find Julian, Caleb, and Brian cleaning up. Oh look, Caleb! Your little boyfriend is here! Seriously? 
At least I'd be a step up from Zoe. Kayla and I are just friends. I'm only in a girls, Brian. Ooh, I kind of want to say at least I'd be a step up from Zoe. No, we'll go with we're just friends. Oh, really? Then what are you hanging around him so much for? It's called being a good friend. Not that something you would know anything about. Both of you need to stop now. Caleb's the one who needs to keep picking fights. You're, you're literally an idiot. You. I'm gonna flip this goddamn desk. Stole my girlfriend. I have every right to be angry about that. Of course you're allowed to be angry, but this is not the place or time. What happens off the field stays off the field. You owe that much to the rest of your team, understand? Yes, Julian. Brian. Yeah, Julian, sure. Thank you. Now, John, what's up? I found your math bug, Brian. Seriously? You hand him the bug. I think I'll be going now. I'll see you on Monday, John. You quickly leave the field and head to the parking lot. You're welcome, you piece of... <sighs> on your way there, <laughs> you hear music coming from the band room window, and you peek in and see Aiden at the piano. Let's give it a minute. Is that, um... Mozart? Or Bavin? I'm thinking Concerto. It's beautiful, actually. Alright. He looks up and nods for you to come on in. The door creaks as you enter, and Aiden takes his hands off the keys. Sorry, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh no, I live for audiences, especially ones who tell me I play well. Well, you certainly are talented. He beams. Wanna hear more? I'll be here for a while. Is there a big chance to hear Aiden play the piano and to get to know him better? This could help you become closer friends or something more. I would actually love to hear the piano more. Um, but I should be getting home. Another time? You know where to find me. That was actually well done by the piano. I'm I just concerto popped into my mind for whatever reason. I don't know. Monday before school. John, where have you been? It's at home during the weekend. You remember the thing that exists? I just got here. Why? The tryout results just got posted. Am I in the band? See for yourself. Next time on High School Story, the tryouts are over. But, did you make the cut? Um, I'm going to assume, since I didn't miss any notes... Yes, yes I am. <laughs> no, you're you're the color guard as well. You suck that bad with the saxophone that you just picked up. Um, when I was growing up... Uh, here's a little comment for you. I was surrounded by music. Pavarotti um, was one of the biggest things that I loved to sing. Because he was just able to reach such decibels. And then as I got um, a little bit older, I would hear all sorts of different musics. And I, I love to surround myself about music. I, I'm a very music-oriented person. And um, music is life. Let me put it that way. Um, I just love it. I just really, really love it. Um, the only types of music that I'm really not fond of is country um, they'll all listen to some, but not all of it. I mean, yeah, there's certain types and certain artists of, of rap, R&B, you know, anything that you won't listen to, but country is just, there's just rarely a song for country. Let's talk about that. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Um, I'm just not a down-home country kind of guy, person, you know what I'm saying? But boy, I tell you, I can do the accent like it's nothing, you know? So I always forget to drink here. <laughs> 
with that being said, I hope you all did enjoy the video. I look forward to more. Today is Friday, so I don't know if um, Endless Summer and Love Hacks will be out today since they did release the big book on everything on Thursday. But I'm trying to get the content out as much as possible on top of working so many other things, and I've barely slept. And all I've had is coffee. <laughs> coffee, a little bit of tea, and my stomach's going... If you keep this up, I'm going to kill you! Um... So if you did enjoy, please feel free to like, comment, share, or subscribe. Also, head down script, uh, the description down below if you're ever feeling so generous enough to support my content. It would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, there's a few social media links you can follow. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.